right guys, so today I'm gonna show you one of my full arm workouts. I don't do arms very often. I like to incorporate them with other workouts like back and chest, but today I decided to do a full arm workout and just really kill them. Um, now I always start out just warming up. So I warm up my wrists and forearm and work my forearms at the same time. So you see me do a super set where I just have a curl bar, laying down on the bench, just curling my, my wrists up, just working that forearm and really just warming up those wrists for heavy curls. Um, I also, I'll superset that by dropping down and doing the over top grip and then curling them up, really working that forearm. Um, then right after that, do that a few sets. Just to, once you really feel your, your wrist nice and loose and your forearms kind of tight, go ahead and jump into biceps. I grab three curl bars. Um, I grab a 65, 55, and a 45. Now with an easy curl bar, you could do this and just shed the weights um, for every set. But I, I think it's easier just to grab three curl bars if you can. So I'll start out with a 65, rep it out 12 times, drop to the 55, rep that out 12 times, grab the 45, rep that out 12 times. Then after that, I'm gonna hit them each for 10. I'm only taking like a 30 to 40 second break after you hit 12, 12, 12, then it's 10, 10, 10, all back to back. Another 30 to 40 second break, then it's 8, 8, 8, back to back. And you keep dropping down until you go down to nothing. After that, we're gonna do a superset to really kill the upper half of your forearms. Um, and this is a tricep bicep superset. So just find a cable that you can go from the bottom to the top um, and just start out with biceps. And just grab it over top, just grab the curl bar over top, put a weight that you can control. We're gonna do 10 sets of 10 each. So it's 10 curls and then 10 pull downs. So just pull straight up with that reverse grip. Um, it's really gonna kill your biceps and which are already tight and it's gonna kill that forearm right there. And then as soon as you hit out 10 reps, put the weight up and then reverse grip down 10 reps. You're gonna do eight to 10 set of those. Um, if you're getting new into lifting and stuff, you might wanna cut it down to like like eight sets. But um, if you're really an advanced lifter, have been lifting for a while and really need to push yourself to the next level, try to do 10 or 11 sets, maybe even 12 um, for the next workout. Next, we're gonna go to just one of my favorites for triceps, just straight out skull crushers. I love skull crushers. A lot of people do them wrong. I did them wrong for a while where you're going down right at your head and you're not getting really getting that full rotation. So what you want to do is you want to extend your arms a little bit above your head and you want the bar to go kind of behind your head and then you pull it up around and you'll see me lock my elbows. You don't want to come all the way above your chest again because it's not really working. Your triceps and what you're trying to do is isolate your triceps, not work anything else at the time. So rip out some heavy skull crushers. Do as much weight as you can for a good amount of reps. I'm trying to get anywhere from eight to 12 reps and we're gonna do like five sets of these, five or six sets, whatever you're feeling that day. Next, we're gonna to go to another superset, another bicep, um, tricep superset. This one, I love to do it with these cables. The only way to work the long head of your bicep, which is the center head, which is gonna give you taller biceps and make you look bigger when you're doing the, uh, any kind of flex or anything, it's gonna make your arms just look wider from the side view. Um, is to have your elbows behind your torso. So you'll see me grab these cables, line them up just about where my arms are as far as height, and I'll step forward, have those my elbows behind my torso and just see me curl up. Um, this allows us to isolate your big head and don't let your small side heads dominate. That's why a lot of people get thicker biceps, but they don't ever really see them grow tall in that often. It's because they forget to do it. You can accomplish this by doing incline bench where you lay down an incline bench and curl up. Um, but then I feel like whenever you're doing that, you get that. Once you get about halfway up, it gets really easy with dumbbells. With these cables, it keeps cops constant tension. Um, so it's more time under tension. And then right after you're done that, you'll see me walk straight over to a rope just to do straight rope pull downs. Um, I, everyone's done these before. Really simple. Just come down together, separate the ropes at your hips, and just try to keep your forearms. I mean, your, um, try to keep your upper arm just in place with your lats and you just come in straight down. So again, eight to 10 sets of this, 10 reps each. And then we'll move on to the hanging biceps. Hanging biceps um, are really, really hard actually. It's where you're laying down on an incline bench or you can do them one at a time just if you 
lean over and grab something, but I like to lay down an incline bench and hit them both at one time. And you just try to curl. And it's it's hard because you have no leverage. Um, your arms are just dangling there in the air and you just try to curl up and go back down. I did hammer curls with it. Um, you can do it with a bar, you can do it with dumbbells. I did a lot with a bar today and wanted to incorporate the isolated hand, so I switched to dumbbells. Um, and just hit, hit probably eight to 10 reps of that. Um, probably for about five or six sets, just like the skull crushers. Then, to top it all off, we're gonna go into one of my favorite tricep workouts. It's kind of a variation if you guys have ever seen CT Fletcher's tricep gauntlet, um, where you're gonna do 200 reps. But except this one is for people who might not be able to do that. Um, I've tried it once, it took me forever to do, eventually got it done, but to just do a quick pump, to really burn out, to end your workout, it's really nice just to lay down on your back, line up weights. I start with 35s. Um, I lay a mat on the floor and I have 35s, 30s, 25s, 20s, 15s, 10s, and 5s. I go all the way down to 5s. Wherever you start, go all the way down to 5s. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab the heaviest weight, rep it out as many times as you can, just like a skull crusher, but individual hands. As many times as you can, whenever you can't get any more, drop the weight and grab the next lightest, the next heaviest one, and then rep it out as many times as you can. Now, I do recommend doing this with a spotter. It's really easy. Then they can just slide the weights up right behind you, and you can just keep going. Um, unfortunately, I just had my man filming, so I couldn't have a spotter, so I just tried to organize them so I could reach them all from where I was sitting. But if you have a spotter, it's really easy. Um, just line them all up, and they can just scoot them up as you're going. Other than that, that closes up our arm workout. Um, again, this is just a high-intensity, high-rep, high-volume workout. Um, and you, even if you don't do an arm day, you can take these pieces and incorporate them wherever you want them. Um, like pull some of the biceps and throw them into your back workout. But anyway, until next time, like and subscribe. As I lay me down to sleep, I hear her speak.